Hi guys, Dilanto is back. Uh, first of all, I'm going to wish you a happy new year. And I was really busy because I'm working on new updates. And there's a good news. There will be a very big update in this year. Uh, no surprises. It will come soon. So, uh, I will talk about that update later. Uh, I decided to create a one new video for some people. Uh, some young people, they ask me how I create nice videos. Yeah, and my videos are, are really things so it's good. Uh, but I don't have a studio or I don't use a lot of, lot of effects. But I just keep uh, using my macbook it's apple apple macbook of course mac is apple so this uh, macbook air or something later like something bigger than macbook air can be used to create uh, amazing videos but you don't have to use a movie maker or something everybody knows there's a imovie tool in Mac but you don't have to use that you can use just keynote to create nice videos with animations if you can follow this tutorial you will make some amazing videos using keynote okay first of all you have to have keynote in your computer if you don't have keynote it is free you can download from Apple App Store so I have installed already this keynote in my computer. So this is keynote. So first of all, open something like a normal presentation. But we are not going to create a presentation using a keynote this time. Okay. I'm going to change the screen size if it needed. So here actually you can set the resolution of a video but don't misunderstand now i'm going to create a keynote presentation but imagine just this is a video editor so if it is a video editor you need to set the resolution so with how many points and height how many points like normally 1080 is uh, a full HD I think so there are 720 this number you can change to change the resolution but okay I will keep this resolution so this is the default resolution for HD videos so this is this widescreen 16 to 9 so then what I have to do okay here there's an option you can select a blank, blank uh, slide. So I'm going to put a video into this slide. In my documents, I have a video, this one. Okay, don't worry about that message. So you can set you can do different way like you can resize the video like this to set the screen but let's say the real video I can check its resolution here its resolution is let me check it's this size so if you are uh, this is the dimension, so this is the resolution. If you want to set that video to the exact slide, you have to select slide custom si slide size here and set this 2224 this size here. You will see the video set their screen correctly. No issues happened. So You just can 
set the video but make sure your video is on the exact slide size is otherwise can be a problem uh, so now how can we play this video when you play here normally slides open but you see it's just an image so you have to click to start the video right so this video settings can be set under format here movie if you want to start movie on click you have to click this otherwise if you want to autoplay you remove this one if you want to play this video across the slides you can select this one so i am going to keep the video running across the slide so i keep it like this repeat no no need to repeat and you can set their volume for so for this recording i will reduce the volume otherwise when you create this in production you have to keep the volume up okay i reduce the volume because it cannot affect on my voice okay so now when you click this the video start automatically so how to put an animation here it's not so difficult let's say you want to put an animation like this right you want to go like got you got this shape like this and you are going to write something like this right so you can sh set the take sizes here whatever size and you can ch change the font size font type here so something like this and then you can sh change the shape here the background something we'll put something like this now you can see when I play this video it's like this then you can put animation exactly here when you select this item let's say this object there's an option build in action and build out build in is when it start what kind of animation you need so you can select the animation here and see the preview something like this so depending on your uh, production so you can select something like this okay fireworks so the new year it's like fireworks okay so I put the building the fireworks action action mean after building what we have to do we change like bounce something like this or jiggle we put jiggle and the build out we can put something like again like this so here we go but you see there here when you, if you play this like this it will not show the animation so you have to set the animate build order right here you see the start movie is first then the happy new year happens so what I do I drag it and drop on this one you see what I do here okay now I put all into a one uh, animation so when you click the first one here and the second one you will see the order if it is on click it will not work so you have to always set the first animation as after transition so it will start look at this you see that so this is very simple not difficult 
you can easily put an animation on your uh, video if you have a plain background so you can easily set that also there's a tool you can remove the background I'm not sure uh, you can do it in Keynote but you can uh, use uh, iMovie to change that in the Keynote you don't have any option to remove the background I guess so so I'm not going to explain about removing background if you want to know how to remove background I will create another video to explain this the explain that so um, the finally let's say let's say you want to create another animation in this order so you can cop duplicate this slide like this so and the second slide you can change the text so in this one you change another color and you can change the animation here different one so you can set this play with that whatever you want to do uh, but make sure you have to know when you have to switch to next one next slide for example let's say you are talking something let's say you are talking about a car hello guys this is my car I am going to show my car so imagine that's your text when you talk like this you have to know how many seconds you talk so to add the uh, transition between these two slides let's say go to animate here you can select this page this slide there's a main animation here this is the transition you can put there are different transitions so you decide what kind of transition you need and here not on click it's automatically let's say 10 seconds so you talk something 10 seconds then you have to switch to the second one look what happens click like this so it will work like this so something is wrong let me check so when you if your animation doesn't start you have to check the build order and here after transition so let me check anything else like this uh, yep this one I have to check the slide again yep I change the seconds here a little bit not say 10 seconds one second let me check so the animation goes on so after the animation yeah after one seconds after animation next animation happens so I hope you guys understand how to do this workaround with Keynote so after creating the video it takes some time one hour two hour to make the order adjust these things so then you can go here and export to movie so when you save as movie you can select some details here resolution specially if you upload to YouTube it's 720 pixel is enough so you press next then save my name movie something 
let's say to the desktop. Actually, Keynote is faster than iMovie if you do only basic animations. So, this is my new movie. I can open it in the like this. You can upload this video to uh, anywhere, like let's say you are going to upload this to uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, Instagram, anything, just like a normal video. So that's all about creating videos using Keynote. I hope you enjoyed. So have a good, happy new year. And don't forget Alexa Master, it's the best digital marketing tool for you. So we will come to you with a new update and more surprises coming soon. Bye-bye.